What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I just wanted to take a little bit of time here and just give you guys a quick update on my 3D printing experience. So it has been exactly a week to the day. Today is Thursday um, that I've had this 3D printer and it has been really good. There were a lot of little things that I didn't know but I learned, and now that I have it all down, I'm very happy with my choice. Um, so what led me to getting this printer was I wanted some interior pieces from Knight Customs off of Shapeways, but it was very expensive. If you were to add up all the pieces and buy them through Shapeways, it was like around 300 Canadian, so just a little bit less for U.S. dollars. So that was really expensive. I paid 260 bucks for the printer, and I've gotten two rolls of filament. Uh, one would have did everything that I need, so that's like 25 bucks. So we're still only up to like 280 dollars. I could print them and then decide that the printing wasn't for me, and sell the printer at a loss, and still break even. So I thought that that was a good choice, and I was interested in 3D printing. I didn't just um, want to do it just for these pieces. I, I want to make other things. I started researching into it when I realized how much it would cost to get those pieces, and I see some of the other channels like, oh, if you can 3D print, and I'm like, I don't have a 3D printer. And then I started doing some research, and I realized it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. But what I learned was it is not as easy as I thought it was. So, you know, you get your printer all out of the box, you get your files. So, that was where I first ran into my problems. Okay, Knight Customs, I'll put a link in the description, is selling all the pieces that I'm going to show you in a minute here um, for $20. Cool. Download it, download all the files. Boom. They're on my desktop, put them in an SD, throw them on here. They're not like coming up on my thing. Finally get a file that come up, nothing's happening. So then I start trying to do some research, and this guy is talking about this other program, blah, blah, blah. That wound up being what they call a slicer. So if you're not familiar with 3D printing, you have to take your STL files that you would get from somebody, and you have to open them up in a slicer. I went with the Kira program, uh, version 3.6. It's working pretty good. I have no experience with any others, but my research led me to that program. I downloaded that and I sliced the thing after I find my printer, blah, blah, blah. Still not having good prints. And I realized then that I need to level my bed better. So then I start leveling my bed and actually I think on this printer, it you can get a little bit of a warped bed because mine definitely seems not to touch as much if I'm touching on the, the sides. But you just got these little knobs here. It's rather simple. You take your piece of paper and you make sure your bed is level. Uh, not super complicated, but I guess a lot of people have issues with that. You just go around a few times, just put some inputs in, mess around with it, you can get it. So I'm like, all right, I got my bed all leveled. Still not getting prints. Uh, the first interior piece I tried to do I was getting, uh, I had the black filament didn't come till after the red, so that's why this is red. I just was trying to practice to get some things down. But I was getting all of these like marks here, and the this is called stringing. So then uh, I realized I had to go into the slicer, and you have to really tweak a lot of these settings. And you have to do a lot of research. There was a lot of good people in the 3D printing community, and after a lot of attempts and a lot of prints, I finally started getting my prints down. Uh, so this was like the first thing I tried doing, and you can see that did not come out good. Um, this wheel kind of came out okay, not super good, but it would require a lot of sanding underneath here. Here's another one I did. This one, it didn't hold right here. I had no supports. Um, the shifter underneath doesn't look very good. 
it's not horrible. You know, you're, we're talking about scale RC. You know, when you get something in there, it's going to look good, but I'm kind of picky. So, I mean, this would be usable, but I didn't want red. But that's like a 30-minute print. That's nothing. And then I got these headrests. And again, underneath here, I was getting a lot of that, you know, you can see the individual strands, and I don't like that. So I kept practicing, kept practicing, and I did all my pieces. So here is the dash, and then the steering wheel will mount onto that. So here is my black wheel. So I got that. Here are, I just printed these ones up today because the first ones didn't come out good, but these are the door sills. I think these are like 38 bucks alone. So we got those, those look really good. I'm happy with those. Here's two that I did that didn't come out good. You can clearly see here all the stringing in the back that is just not good. So I reprinted those. Probably could have used them, but I wanted something better. Uh, and here is the base. Here's my new black shifter. The headrest, I cut the pieces off, and I'm just I'm going to glue all these pieces together and do an install and I'm gonna do that in a separate video uh, I'll show all these pieces a little bit more this is more just about my first 3d printing experience not necessarily these individual parts but I went from not knowing how to do any of this to spending really just a day and the second day I started kinda of getting it all down um, but that is just to show you so here's a couple of crappy dashes I did uh, this one printed like this. I didn't have it flat in my slicer. This one, I don't know what the hell happened. But, you know, if you just be patient, take your time, you can figure this thing out. Um, so overall, the printer is very user-friendly. You just turn this knob and select everything, and there's a lot of information online. So if you're on the fence and you want to start getting into 3D printing, I would definitely recommend this printer. And if you just want to print RC parts, I think the value for a printer like this is there. Um, the, you know, you learn it, and then, like I said, all these pieces paid for the printer. I still have a good amount of filament left on this roll. I mean, I could probably do maybe another whole, at least another two more, probably, uh, builds if I wanted. Um, I did test this for other things, other interior pieces. So with some mods, this base would work. But, um, you know, there's just so many other little things that I can print. So the value is there. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, if you just wanted, like, this shifter, well, then just buy one. It's $8. You know, you can just order it on Shapeways. No big deal. Then you're not getting yourself into this. But for what I wanted, uh, it, it worked out great. So I definitely recommend getting into 3D printing if you're not... Um, doing it yet and you want to dabble it's definitely worth it and you'll have a lot of fun too all right guys that's going to be it for this video i just wanted to express those thoughts on 3d printing uh, if you got any questions about 3d printing or anything rc related in 3d printing just leave it down in the comments and make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out